Nine. Okay, class, uh, remember we are still in the Prashna Paramit. Okay, uh, so in Prashna Paramit, now uh, we go, uh, I mean, uh, now we are in, in here. Let's take a look, uh, class. Please take a look uh, to the verse number 169. The cell is neither identical to the five aggregates, nor is it separate from the aggregate. They do not belong to or coexist with each other. For this reason, it is known that there is no self. Okay, class, uh, basically the perception is, uh, we say uh, the self is neither identical to the five aggregate. So meaning to say that, um, uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, if, if we ask the question of where is I, huh? basically this, uh, this five aggregate itself is not I, okay, huh? so it's, it is number one, all right. Then the second is uh, neither is separate from aggregate. You cannot, you cannot find I from outside the five aggregate. And you can find cell under the five aggregate. It belongs to five aggregate. You can't find it. It is not underlying you. Uh. And then the last one, okay, and then the last one, so there's a non-cell, okay. Uh. Again, if let's say there's a non-cell, <laughs> so who is making the cake? Uh? From dawn to dusk, Sally, or huh? maybe we will come back to quick question now. Uh, then who go? Who are planning for traveling Buddha now? Uh, who is it? Uh, okay, so uh, okay, uh, we have we have to answer the question uh, from both respective. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, to stand number one, whether it's from conventional truth, second is the ultimate truth. If conventional truth, of course, the uh, Sally Sally is the one who bake the cake, right? Or uh, Elena is the one who go to travel the Buddha, right? Okay. This is conventional truth, but if let's say it's ultimate truth, actually it's true non-self. Huh? Uh, if non-self, what is it? Actually, we ourselves is the, I mean, uh, we are uh, the combination of the Nama and Rupa, and the Nama Rupa in the process of the rising and falling continuously without stopping. Okay, you can confide you, uh, this, the word definition of cell. Why? Because uh, we are 24 hour, 24 stroke seven, is keep on rise and fall, right and fall in our Nama and Rupa. So this is why this is a process. Uh, this is a process, it's like a river. Uh, so, I mean, ultimate truth, that is the ultimate truth. Uh. But anyway, uh, since we don't recognize that for us, a uh, cell is so real, right? Uh, so real, right? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Elena, when you go to travel, wow, so enjoy. Huh? You say, I'm the dream, quite hard to accept. Huh? Say this same, huh? uh, when you finish baking the cake, oh, I'm so enjoy. Okay, how come you say non-self? Huh? Now the point is, uh, because uh, we are in the ignorance, so we don't see it. But if let's say we are already out of, out of from ignorance, uh, we get to be pasana, uh, we, we will really notice uh, there's a non-self. Huh? So I, I think, Elena, better you travel the whole world before you experience non-self. Huh? <laughs> oh, are you going to work first? Huh? So, Sally, you bake all the cake yeah, huh, before you experience non cell huh? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Huh? Mm. Anything? Yes, Elena? Sally got to travel with Elena first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. Uh, uh, okay, uh, this is a joke, but I can, I, can, I think you can remember better the facts. Uh, huh? It's a joke, but joke can make you understand better. Actually, what I mentioned, I start to uh, bring in. Uh, the perception of Abhidharma already. Because uh, without perception of Abhidharma, you can't thoroughly understand this. Uh. So later we start to study Abhidharma, we go deeper with all this type of perception. Uh. Uh, yeah, Mr. Leo, uh, yeah. Yeah, non-cell, uh, no people drive the school bus. Yes. Any questions? <laughs> if if uh, there's non-self, uh, who am I? Who are we? No, I uh, just thought answer already. Uh, depends on the conventional truth of ultimate truth. Uh, if uh, conventionally you still Mr. Leung, the one who drive the school bus, uh, who who was the ex manager in the Sun Derby. But if uh, in ultimate truth, uh, there's really no self. Uh, you are the Nama Rupa, uh, which is continuing rising and and falling. Huh? Okay. Uh, so that is depends on the circumstances to answer you. Huh? Okay. Uh, so uh, let's take a look. But of so course, huh? Yes, yes. So that means uh, we also, uh, what you call, derive uh, Nama Rupa from the, uh, 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 this, uh, what you call, dependent origination. Ah, uh. uh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, we are still always in the conventional truth. Uh. We can never uh, really understand the ultimate truth. That's why, I mean, uh, we are always in the ignorance. Uh. 
So keep on enjoy your life. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go to the next paragraph. Uh, so a uh, one seven o. Uh, okay. So Sally, uh, your turn to read. Uh, One seven oh. If there is no self, no I, how can there be a mind? The nature of all things are empty. So of course, self is true. In the personal scriptures, the teachings of emptiness of self and the emptiness of things generally substantiate each other. The self is empty. Therefore, things are also empty. Things are empty. Therefore, self is also empty. If one understands that sentient beings have no self, no I, then how can there be mind? That which is mind includes the things of self and things upon which self relies. For example, my body, my wealth, my fame and position, my country, etc. all relate to me and belong to me. They are things of self. The self is also conventional perception that is formed by the body and mind. Thus, things such as the five aggregates, the six senses, six organs, the six elements, six consciousness, and so on, are all conventional things upon which the self relies. All that I own and upon which I rely are things. Without self, there is no mind. So since the self is empty, things are also empty. Conversely, the inherent nature of all things seem to be real, yet empty, to say nothing of the self that is established by reliance upon these things. Nevertheless, to say, this self is also empty. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Um... Okay, uh, class, uh, basically for this uh, two uh, paragraph, I think uh, we already uh, discussed just now. Okay, class, take a look. You see, there's one more thing. Is, uh, if let's say there's no I, there's nothing we belongs to. Okay, if let's say we can experience the emptiness in the fire aggregate, at the same time we can experience the, the emptiness, uh, I mean, uh, to the things which belongs to us. So that is, I mean, uh, the precept of the emptiness. Uh, it is quite good uh, if we experience that. Uh. Okay, now we go to the next. You see, uh, uh, conventional perception that is formed by the body and mind. So this is a Nama Rupa, uh, you see. Uh. All that I own and upon which I really uh, rely are things. Uh, without a self, there is no I. Okay, uh. 
Okay, so now we go to the next paragraph. Yeah. Uh, okay, yes, uh, Elena, your turn. Now. This verse contains extraordinarily profound meanings that only the great Madhya Mikhaians can understand thoroughly and review according to reality. In the Sravaka Dharma, the Buddha mostly speaks of the non-existence of the self, which explicit discourses on things being empty are rare. In the transition of the Buddha Dharma, therefore the teachings on emptiness are divided into two schools, the Sravastivadins, such as the scholars of Abhidhamma of Northwestern India, thought that the Buddha spoke only of the non-existence of the self, so they thought that things, are, things were not empty. In the Mahasamika of South, Mid-Southern India, some say that the Buddha has spoken of the emptiness of the self and also the emptiness of things in, for example, the Sakya Siddhi Sastra, treatise on the realizing reality. Needless to say, the Mahayana Buddhist Sutras say that the nature of all things is empty. With regards to the emptiness of self and things, the Yogacara system derived from the Sarvastivadin believes that the Hinayana speaks of only the self being empty, while the Mahayana speaks of both the self and things being empty. The Mayamaka system is closer to the school of mid-southern India. So it is considered the Hinayana to have had the teaching of the emptiness of both self and things, just as the Mahayana does. Sin uh, the moment we stop here, huh? a lot of the terminologies here, huh? we try to digest the terminologies. Huh? Uh, Mrs. Leung, you get off your camera, you are, you are frozen already. Huh? Okay. okay, class, uh, let's take a look. Huh? Uh, we have to make sure uh, we are clear regards the terminology in the first place. Huh? Okay, uh, let's take a look. Huh?
uh, let's take a look class. Okay, huh? uh, so this is the diagram uh, which I sent to you previously huh? in, 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 the, in the previous lesson. Huh? Okay, uh, class, uh, after Buddha Bari Nirmana, huh? okay, uh, there's a split between the Buddhists, there's a Mahasamgika and, and the Stiwara. Okay, huh? Mahasamgika, uh, they, are, they are the younger people. This is the more conservative. Most of the old people, there's a most of the young people. So they, 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 they used to adapt uh, to the change of the culture, okay? So they're more open mind. Uh, and whereas uh, for Stiwara, they are more, uh, they are, they are more conservative. Uh, they don't bother how, how change is the, is the time. They just 100% follow the, the rules laid down by Shakyamuni, okay? Okay, here uh, you have to uh, have, the, uh, well, uh, let's take a look to the important point here. Uh, so, class, take a look. Here is the Savastiwada. Okay, huh? so where, okay, uh, it separates uh, in, 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 I mean, Stiwara, it separates to the Savastiwada. And Savastiwada from here, we will see one more school is about, the, let me check first. Uh, I don't see here. Huh? There's one Terawada here, huh? but it doesn't show here. Huh? Okay, huh? so we see the Savastiwada in the first place. A uh, class where is it? Uh? Uh, it is in the Northwest Indian Hall. Huh? It's in the Kashmir Hall, huh? the place which is the most beautiful place, Kashmir and Jammu Hall. Huh? So this is where the Savastiwada are. Huh? So class, take a look. Huh? So this is uh, 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 the location of the Savastiwada. And for Savastiwada, they understand, according to their understanding, is uh, there is uh, I mean uh, there is a non-self, but once you once you analyze to the small particles, the, the I, I, once you analyze yourself to the smallest particle, the smallest particle is the reality. Okay, huh? uh, Okay, but the cell, we ourselves there's a non-self. That's true. Uh, there's an emptiness in the cell. But if you analyze uh, ourselves to the smallest particle, mental in mentality or materiality, this is the real things. You cannot dissect anymore. Okay, huh? so this is according to Savastivada. Okay, huh? then how about the Mahasamgika? So class, take a look. So this is uh, class. Uh, this is the Mahasamgika, right? You see how huh? Mahasamgika. So Mahasamgika, according to the history, they are they have a very strong relationship to uh, to uh, to Mahayana. Huh? Okay, where is the their place? Uh, their place is here. It's in Andhra Pradesh. Antara Pratesh. Now, here is Antara Pratesh. Hmm. Now, class, take a look. So, this is Antara Pratesh. Uh, if you walk, it's about 472 hours. Uh. So, this is where the location, uh, the origin of the Mahayana Skuma Samgika. Uh. So, here, I mean, uh, uh, the, uh, for that, okay, but if you analyze uh, yourself, uh, to the finest particle of a mentality and materiality, both of them also empty. Ah, so this is according to the Mahasamgika. So Mahayana, they greatly influenced by the Mahasamgika. So this is why in Mahayana, no matter Yogacara or Madhyamika, both of them, they are both recognize that the self is empty and the finest particle also empty. Okay, so get class to get a point. Okay, oh. and then according to the history, yoga achara class yoga achara is derived from Savastivada. Yoga achara. Oh. So where is the yoga yoga achara uh, is newly established? Uh, this is in Ayodhya. Oh. So class, this is the place of uh, Ayodhya. Uh, do you see? Uh, this is the Ayodhya. Ayodhya, uh, this is the origin of the Yogacara. Uh, why? Because uh, the founder is uh, the name of the founder is Asanka. Asanka previously ordained under Savastivada. So once uh, he start to establish the, uh, the Yogacara, so he he will use he, he is uh, he was using uh, his previous knowledge from Savastivada to re-establish and form a new group. We call it as a Yogacara. Okay, so the perception will be same. Okay, there will be mixture. They believe that the, the, there's a non-self, 
and also things is also handy for both. So the knowledge I have been clear here. Class C, class D, D, K, uh, you see, then class, take a look, yoga chara system, see or not, derived from Sawas Divadi. Okay, huh? so Sawas Divadi is in the Kashmir, they are, they are, they are, they are, their base is in the Kashmir, you see. You see class of Mahasamgika, okay, Mahasamgika in the mid southern Indian, which is Andhra Pratesh. Okay, huh? and then one, one more, you see a class, there's what terminology is, uh, is this, you see how, huh? Madhya Ma, uh, Mikans, you see, uh, this is meaning to say they are the one who practice the Madhya Maka. Huh? Uh, then this is the uh, Madhya Maka system, okay, the one who practice Madhya Maka system, uh, we call it as a Madhya, Madhya Mikans, okay, so this is the terminology, okay. Huh? Then uh, what else uh, is, this is a few things, uh, huh? Then uh, one more thing is regards the Yogacara. Huh? Okay, huh? okay, yeah. Then later on, uh, the Mahas, uh, Mahasamdika, the, uh, for a Mahayana school, the, the, I mean, uh, the Madhyamaka, uh, they're both practice, uh, huh? uh, the empty for both, uh, the thing and the cell, you see. Huh? Okay, then, okay, one more terminology is regards the Hinayana. Huh? Class, uh, basically, Hinayana, it means Shravaka. Huh? So who are the Shravaka huh? class? Basically, uh, let's take a look, class. Okay, class. They are all considered as a, uh, we, call it, they, we, we call them all as a Shravaka. Huh? Why? Because uh, all of them, they're aiming for, for Arahan. They don't aim for Mahayana. So this is all we call them as a, a Shravaka, huh? according to this diagram. Huh? So class, uh, so uh, in this diagram, uh, uh, one thing you have to emphasize, let's see, uh, okay. So Sawasti Wada, you see. So class, basically, Yogacharya is a Mahayana, they derive from the Sawasti Wada, okay. Uh, class, uh, do you need to joke down the location for all this? Do you need it? You don't need it. But, um, Am I making the things clear? Am I making the, the things clear? Clear, huh? Okay. Elena, you don't travel to India. Then you can trace back thousand years ago the Indian or the school. Don't you think so? You, you don't prefer history. I stay after I go there, I become. No, no, no. Don't every day, uh, uh, just a beautiful the scenario. You should look for the history. You should go to the museum. I think uh, in the museum, you can see all these things what I mentioned, you know. Ah, okay. Huh? So make vow to go India. India need you to save them. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, so this is the name. Lah, huh? You're not interested, doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, but uh, one thing I have to emphasize is regards to this. Uh, okay, class, take a look. You see, uh, you see or not? Uh, just now in Hinayana, the words appeared. Uh, the Hinayam means what? Terawada and Sawastiwada. Okay, do you get it? Uh, Terawada and Sawastiwada. And Mahayana, it means what? Madhyamaka. And Madhyamaka is the one we just study, you see? Okay, huh? so this is the relationship. Uh, Mahayana, Madhyamaka, the aim for the Bodhisattva. Uh, this, all of them, the aim. Uh, mainly on the the uh, uh, Stravaka uh, as a arahan. See how. See how. Just now the the picture. Uh, yes, send you. Send you. But you don't want to travel to India for what to send you. <laughs> okay, no problem. I want to make you all clear how you have to know the history, la class. Okay, one more thing is regards this. Uh, uh, one more. One more. I will send you the picture. Then we got one more is this. Uh, class, take a look. You see how? So, Sangha, Mahasamkika, Stiwara. Okay. So, uh, just what we mentioned already. But this diagram, we will see the Mahayana class. You see, not Madhyamaka and Yogacara. You see, and the Tantric. Tantric is the Tibetan Buddhism. Oh. So, Yogacara, you see, mm. found by Vasu Pandu, 3rd, 3rd century. Yogacara is in the Ayodhya. Oh. Uh, this school originally, uh, I mean, at the founder, they study in Sawastiwada. Then they come here, you see. Okay. Then this is the Madhyamaka. It's origin from the Nagajuna. It's about the first and third century. They are based on Antra Pratesh. Okay. Elena, do you need this? 
Yes, uh, okay. So I send you both. Uh, huh? I send you both. So you just remember, huh? uh, just locate it. Huh? It will help you a lot. Because uh, now we go to the school, uh, there will be a different teaching. Uh, you, you may start confusing already. But uh, if your mind is very clear uh, regarding with the different school, you know, you know the history well, then you will get confused to see. Uh, okay. Uh. Uh, okay, class, uh, maybe you get just write a little bit of notes, uh, then you can understand the location better. Huh? Okay, class, uh, Sawastiwada, can you please write down the place is the Kashmir and Jammu? Uh, please write down Kashmir and Jammu. Huh? So this is from Sawastiwada, is from the Kashmir and Jammu. Okay, you need the English. Uh, let me check for you the English. Uh. So it doesn't turn out, oh, uh, yeah, Kashmir. Uh, this is here's the Kashmir for Sawastiwada, okay? Sawastiwada. Uh. Okay, class for the Yoga Chara is from Ayudhya. Uh. Uh, please write down uh, Ayudhya. Uh. We don't see the English also. It doesn't appear in English. Uh. The Ayudhya. Uh. Let me show you this. Yeah. 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 Okay. Then uh, I think Kashmir is correct. Huh? Yeah, correct indeed. Kashmir, huh? Kashmir and Jammu. Huh? So this is three of the location, okay? Huh? Okay, let's continue. Uh, uh, sorry, Sipo. Yes. The Ayuta is for which one? Uh, for oh, Ayuta is for Yoga Chara. Okay, thanks. Okay, mm. so clear. Huh? So the location clear already. Uh, okay, huh? then. Huh? Okay, now we go to the next paragraph. Huh? Synthesizing the emptiness of thing and the emptiness of the cell. Huh? So uh, again, we go back to the Sally. Uh, uh, Sally, please. Uh, huh? synthesizing the emptiness of things and emptiness of self. These teachings can be synthesized drawing on selected passages from Nagarjuna. Because Hinayana disciples were all of full of dull capacity, they were thought the sentient beings were empty. Because Hinayana disciples are sharp, they are thought that things were empty. Sentient beings with dull capacities are taught the non-existence of self. Sentient beings with sharp capacities and profound wisdom were taught that all things are fundamentally empty. All Hinayana, all Mahayana and Hinayana Sutras are clear about this. One cannot say that Stravaka disciples were not taught that things are empty. However, if the whole if whole truth is expounded, then it will be taught that all things are empty. If teaching is skillful, then it will speak of non-existence of self. Both of these ways of teachings are in accord with the character characteristics of Prashna Paramita. Thus, Buddha, Buddhist Sutra says that those progressing towards Nirvana are going to the same direction. There's, there is no other way. This clearly reveals that although the explanations of emptiness of both self and things may either explicit or implicit, both are right contemplations of Prashna and the way of liberation to one vehicle and one favor. Okay, thank you so much. See you. Thank you.
hey, tau capacity ya, uh, this is a this is the bad words, right? Tau capacity. No. So no. ah, Elena, not not the bad words. Tau capacity. Not that bad. Okay, but compared with the sharp capacity, tau capacity looks stupid lah, right? Compared with the sharp capacity lah, oh, inferior lah. Ah, okay, oh, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Lee, want to say something? Ah, uh, yeah. The DAO capacity indicates a very offensive and a very what you call a degrading term uh, for Tarawada. Oh, okay. so Sally, you are sharp capacity or DAO capacity, Sally? You think? <laughs> I'm definitely DAO. <laughs> <laughs> so Sally, enjoy for being humiliated, uh. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I can lower your hand, Mr. Leong. Oh, okay. Oh. You see, ah, uh, you see the word hinayana. Do you see it? Ah, uh, hina, oh, hina mean inferior. Ah, uh, don't simply use this. Uh, okay. Uh. Okay, a uh, class. Uh, let me try to okay finish. Uh. okay, uh, okay, okay. Class. Uh, okay. Let's go back to the theory and uh, compare the theory and the practical. Uh. okay. In reality, uh, class. Uh, in the theory. Okay. Uh, once we talk about the Hinayana, Ostrawaka, basically nowadays, uh, you are able to see only Terawada only. So class, take a look. Mm. So this is the only school. Uh, you are able to see only. A class, take a look. Hmm. Okay, all the school in Hinayana, we don't see Vipassika, Stautra Tinka, we don't see that anymore. We are able to see Terawada only. Sawastiwada also, we don't see that anymore. But there's a lot of uh, commentary and the sutra from Sawastiwada, which is available in Chinese and brought back by Xuanzhuang. Because uh, Xuanzhuang, uh, uh, Xuanzhuang start traveling, uh, from Xi'an, I see a uh, 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 class take a look. See a uh, Xuanzhuang uh, start traveling from Xi'an to India. Okay, ho. Uh, Xi'an, he traveled to India, he passed by Kashmir and Jammu and Afghanistan. So he noticed that there's, a, there's a plenty of the sutra and Abhidhamma from Sawastiwada. So he just take all to India and then he go back again from a silk road. Uh, and, and at that time, the whole Afghanistan, Pakistan, and the Xinjiang, they are all Buddhism. But since the, the risings are of a, a Muslim uh, about, I think, eighth century, so the, the, whole, <laughs> the whole thing changed already. Meaning to say that during Xuanzhuang, he traveled the place, uh, he requests, uh, he wants a scripture. They are all generous. So they say, you just take it, take it. But none of them expect that one day the whole Afghanistan, the whole Middle East uh, will turn become Muslim. None of them expect this. So meaning to say that if you are generous, it is helpful. Uh, I mean, uh, for Buddhism flourishing, keep up for sustainability. 
See or not? So next time, uh, don't be stingy. You just share out with the people. We don't know what, what happened to us, you see. Ah, nowadays, same, you know, in Terawada, if you go to Terawada, they are very generous. So a, they will just teach you all. And you see, it's good. We, we, can't, we can't say what. What happened to the Thailand and Myanmar? We can't say what. If one day, uh, whole Buddhism gone. Okay, anyway, since you share out the thing, so people, they still know. And then you can keep on flourishing, you see. For sustainability, you see. Oh, anyway, a class uh, for the Savastivada, I mean, uh, they just remain the Sutra and Abhidhamma, but but maybe the meditation skills are, uh, I think, lost already. Possible is very high. Possible is very high. Okay, uh, for Theravada nowadays and Savastivada, if there is uh, their meditation skill, they will, they, they are, I mean, uh, they involve the, 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 the vipassana skills involve the analyzing of the Nama Rupa. They will use their meditation power, jhana power, to analyze uh, our body to the finest particle. And this is the this is real one. Because the teaching said that this is the real, so they established the meditation method based on this. So that's why if you go to Myanmar and do the meditation, they will ask you to analyze your fine aggregate to the finest particle, and that this is the real one. So you no need to go to uh, analyze it further because uh, you can't analyze it further more. Uh, so here we call it, uh, uh, I mean, at uh, the meditation now, they are, they are able to, uh, to, to, to let you to realize the non self. Okay, huh? but so how about the Madhyamaka? Okay, class for Madhyamaka, even though Madhyamaka say huh, the final particle is also non self, you can further analyze it. Huh? But this is only theory, only. practically, uh, maybe we can't find it. You see, uh, according, you remember uh, how Madhyamaka will try to, I mean, uh, try to challenge that. Uh, I mean, uh, this is the real, the final particle is real. So they are using uh, uh, nothing, they are using a logic way, huh? uh, I mean, uh, to argue that uh, the self entity cannot be exit. Class, remember, this is the logic way. It's not the meditation method, you know. Class, do you realize or not? Oh, so remember, the self entity, uh, oh, you all pushing kepala, kepala, right? So this is, you're using logic way, uh, to deny that self entity would exist. But this is the logic only, it's not the meditation method. But for Theravada nowadays, uh, they are use, still using the meditation method to prove that there is a non self, you see. Uh, so that is uh, the, the, I mean, um, uh, I mean uh, uh, the difference between the theory and the practical. Uh. Uh, basically, a uh, class uh, for this uh, Yoga Chara and Madhyamaka, class, take a look. Uh. Uh, uh, see, class uh, here, Mahayana is about what I see, first to third century, third to fourth century, uh, the Madhyamaka, uh, I mean, uh, Madhyamaka actually in, in the very beginning, okay, they are flourishing in Andhra Pratesh. Then they move to here and then they move to here. So Mahayana actually in Savastivada, they are flourishing here, okay, and then they try to spread to the China through Xinjiang. So when they reach the China, especially the Ha Sutra, Diamond Sutra, oh, Chinese people like so much. That's why until today, oh, so many people chant the Jing Gan Jing. It is under Madhyamaka. Oh. Even Elena as the banana just joined the class. Applause to her. Very good. Ah, see or not? So this is how the influence, you know, ah, this is how influence. So, so why you will chant the Jing Gan Jing? This is the reason it beginning spreading today, you see. Ah, okay. Oh. But anyway, for Madhyamaka, oh, their meditation method gone already. Ah, once you chant the Jingang Jing, the expect uh, you know all the things uh, regards the Nama Rupa, the expect you know. But since uh, we, we don't know, uh, once so, was one, uh, so we end up, we just can only chant the Jingang Jing only. But we don't know how to practice it. But actually, uh, this, is the, this is the knowledge of Vipassana. But since, uh, I mean, uh, once the Buddhism uh, start flourishing in China, okay, huh? I mean, for a thousand years, but, uh, but it appears that there's a three king that try to ruin the whole Buddhism according to the history, and they managed to do so. Three king. Oh, so if you go to check the history, huh? uh, because uh, you know why uh, Buddhism could be established in China for a thousand years, it's due to the king, but it can be ruined also due to the king. Oh, see or not? So that's why if you over depend on king, uh, oh. so lastly, they are the one who destroy you too, you see. Ah, so that is, I mean, uh, if you go to the China, you go to the Beijing, uh, you are able to see the cave, you see. 
Kefa. So class, this is the Kefa you are able to see in the Beijing, you see. Oh, not the B, uh. okay, it's this. Uh. Ah, this is the one. If you go to the Beijing, uh, you are able to see the cave where the Tripitaka is carved on the wall of the cave. Why? Because uh, all the Buddhists, uh, they feel enough with the king already. Once the emperor, oh, okay, I want to destroy the whole Buddhism, they just burn all the sutra. So that's why uh, the Buddhists that start to realize that uh, in order to protect, pro protect the sutra, the best way, cuff on the wall, cuff on the wall, so they are not able to destroy. So the cuffing process uh, takes place for a few hundred years, you see. So uh, this is around the Beijing. Uh, so you can have, uh, if you possibly go and visit, uh, uh, then uh, you can understand uh, how, how is the spirit of the Buddhist? Oh, how is the Buddha, uh, spirit of Buddhist? Why? Because they feel enough with the king. Besides, uh, this is the way to protect the, the, the sutra. Uh, there's another way to protect the Buddha statue is to make a giant Buddha statue. Let's take a look. So this is the, we call it as a, a giant Buddha statue. Uh, here is it. Uh, uh, we call it as a, <clears throat> Let's take a look. Uh, so this is the Buddha statue uh, you are able to discover in China, you see. All is the big, big one, you see. Ah, all is the very big one, you see. So all this is very big one, and they are cut, uh, cut from the stone, the marble stone. You see, <laughs> if the king is in a bad mood, like he ordered, go to destroy the statue. Maybe uh, the whole day uh, you, you are able to just destroy the nail of the Buddha. On it, so they will just give up. So this is how the Buddhists are. Uh, they show the spirit to protect the I mean, uh, I mean the triple gem, see? Uh, so one day if you go to China, huh? uh, so Elena, you just injected Sinovac in it, right? I go to China, go to go to visit all the big statues. Then uh, and learn, uh, and then you can realize uh, how the Buddhists work hard uh, to protect the Buddhism. Okay, get it? Uh, so this is the two things to prove uh, uh, the Buddhism in China, see? Okay, uh, next. Uh, so this is about the things uh, in, 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 in China. Huh? Okay, huh? All right, so according here, you see, uh, so, so in fact, uh, I mean to say in reality, uh, in Mahayana, uh, actually the meditation, uh, Samatha Vipassana, uh, we can hardly notice uh, uh, in, I mean, uh, in China, why? Because, I mean, uh, the, the destructive, uh, the destruction work from the king, uh, destructive work of the king, uh, so we don't see much already. So now we can only learn the meditation method from China, uh, from uh, from Theravada country only. We can't learn uh, from China anymore. Okay, uh, so we need to say that uh, we are able to discover the sutra from Madhyamika, Yoga Achara, but we are able to see the sutra only and Abhidhamma only. We can't get the real experience. Okay, uh, okay. But if let's say uh, the, uh, uh, of course it's, be it's better than nothing. Uh, uh, we just still see the sutra, it's better than nothing, you see. Uh, so tonight, uh, 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 8.30 p.m., I will start the class for the yoga chara. Ah, so we talk about uh, the concept of a consciousness only. Uh. So meaning to say that uh, all the karma will be stored in the alaya vichyatna. The alaya vichyatna is the consciousness, alaya we call it. They will store all the memory and they are the one who, I mean, uh, who keep on for the reincarnation. Ah. So Elena, we would like to try our first lesson today, 8.30. Very tough, uh, Sifu. The, you, know, you speak in Mandarin, uh, a lot don't understand. Uh, just sit there and listen to me. Ah, okay, okay. So never mind. Uh, uh, okay, uh, so I think maybe uh, we, we do have a little bit foundation here, like, uh, history, like, uh, so you know a little bit, then you know. Uh, okay. But uh, Sifu, when you start class for the disciples of the Buddha, hmm. uh, that one I want to join because that one I got the book easier to read. Oh, okay. So we need to say that with the 70% of the Mandarin understanding and that end up with additional uh, uh, reading, then you can get the whole picture, right? Uh, get more picture. Get more picture. Ah, huh? <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Actually, without I know the, more, uh, uh, you without know. the text, uh, without the text, uh, very difficult to follow. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Mm, okay. Anyway, uh, never mind. Next time we have an English class, huh? so that uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that you won't be so sorry uh, for being banana. Uh, uh, actually, you are you are all uh, you are, you are all the product uh, from the British uh, uh, colonization policy, you know, because the British uh, they know this that if you are English act, uh, and then you uh, then uh, I mean all the people once the graduation, the people are able to work in the government in the government sector and get a good pay. So this is the British strategy uh, to destroy uh, the other cultures. Actually, they got some, uh, something, something. I, I, I don't know. Uh, my parents, uh, the boys all Chinese educated, uh, the girls all English educated. Uh, so got oh. The oh, no, I, uh, they got something behind. But for British, uh, the policy is try to attract you all, go into the, I mean, uh, this English act, then you can uh, work uh, in the as the government staff and good pay at the time. So, uh, but but since, since it makes you all uh, quite hard already uh, to connect with the Chinese culture, uh, a little bit difficult. Uh, okay. Uh. No, I'm, still very, How, what? I'm still very Chinese. No, no problem. I will help you all. <laughs> My role is to help all the banana to, to connect back with the Chinese culture. Okay. Uh? <laughs> no worry. Uh, okay. Uh, that's why I'm here, you see, uh, to help you all. Uh. Okay. Uh, so class, let's take a look. Uh. Now, uh, so we, we know all the history already. So you have better work hard a little bit to connect all together. Uh. Okay. Class, can you please check for me? Uh, 63. What's the reference? Uh? It's from Nagajuna. Uh. Is this the Maha Prashtamita Sastra, something like that? 63. Where is it now? That's a Tulu. Yeah, yeah, that's a Tulu. This, this is the signature from Nagajuna class. Huh? Yeah. So let me show you how that's a Tulu. This is the signature actually. Huh? A class, are you able to see this? Uh, uh, um, the English, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, have you already discovered this? Maha Prashna Paramito Desa, uh, Maha Prashna Paramito uh, Patesa. Are you able to check this? Or English, we call it the treatise on the Greek professional wisdom. Please check it. Are you able to see this with the other reference? Please have a look. Uh, this is a very famous view. You must recognize this uh, because uh, this is. This is the signature from Tas, uh, from Nagajuna. Maybe you copy down a little bit. Uh, from Tas, don't you copy down this uh, or the English one? Uh, uh, this is the major reference uh, from Reverend Inshun uh, to this chapter. Uh, this is the major reference, especially talk about the Prashna. Uh, he prefer he prefer refer this. Uh, Okay, got it. Uh, possible copy down the English too. Uh, okay. Uh. Uh, uh, class, uh, possible, can you check for me? Is, is this the sutra which appeared mostly in this chapter? Can you check it out? Is this the one? Yeah. Yes, you see, ah, uh, okay, it's true. Huh? So this is so important. Huh? Uh, this is only available in um, Chinese, I think also in France. France, huh? okay. Huh? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, some, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean uh, uh, the West, some Western scholars, uh, they really work hard. Uh, for the Buddhism studies, see? so they translate from Mandarin or Sanskrit or to the French. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, <laughs> maybe Celia will learn the French uh, so they can read this scripture. <laughs> that is too uh, too difficult already. Uh, learning the French now uh, it's too late already. Okay, uh, then uh, now uh, we go to the next one. Uh, uh, okay, uh, next paragraph. Uh, okay, one cannot. Who's turn to read, please? Uh, one cannot. 
Thus, it is said one should not be even attached to the self, the eye and mind, let alone other things. The emptiness of sentient beings and the emptiness of things are ultimately identical. That is, those who can realize the non-existence of the self and mind will definitely be able to understand the emptiness of things. This is because the, the meaning of emptiness that one contemplates is in all cases without inherent nature. Contemplating that the self is without inherent nature, one understands the emptiness of the self. If one relies on this to contemplate all things, of course one will realize that they are also empty. However, Sravakas only destroy all afflictions from the arising of the self and from causes and conditions and depart from all love for things. Being fearful of the suffering from old age, illness, death, and evil destinies, they do not want to thoroughly investigate the whole truth and penetrate all things, but instead only focus on liberations. They urgently seek enlightenment by directly contemplating the non-existence of the self and mind, but do not go on to the more profound contemplation of the emptiness of things. But this is just a case of not going deeper. The Buddha also did not explain the emptiness of things to them, which is definitely not the same as attaching to things as real, as these two passage, passages illustrate. Without sentient beings, there is no basis for things. And without the self and mind, naturally, the emptiness of things can be realized. In this way, the teaching of the non-existence of the self by the Sravakas can be connected with the emptiness of things without contradictions. Okay, thank you so much for the digest this two paragraphs. Okay, class, take a look at her. Hmm. Uh, class, for these two paragraphs, not much thing actually. Huh? Uh, what it mentioned is uh, for Srawaka, because they are quite eager uh, for, the, uh, for liberation, they don't go contemplate in profound. So once they notice there's non-self, they stop already. Okay, they don't go further to, I mean, analyze that the finest particle is empty or so, they don't go further. 
That's all. Uh, but as long as you are able to contemplate non-self, uh, you will start. I mean, uh, you will stop reincarnation. That will be good enough already. Uh, it doesn't matter even though you don't go to further, uh, uh, I mean, uh, to analyze the finest particle, it doesn't matter actually. Uh. Then let's take a look. Uh. Uh, so this is all the meaning here, you see. Again, if let's say you're able uh, uh, to know the emptiness, you see, so meaning to say that you understand it's without inherent nature. Remember, uh, inherent nature, cell entity, uh, this is, they are the same work appears here. Like. So, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the definition is uh, if the things appear without, I mean, uh, without the condition, without other factor, that is called as a cell entity. So this is a wrong view. Uh. Besides the Nibbana, nothing is cell entity actually. Uh, so if, if there's a thing as a self entity for the Mahayana, there's a wrong view already. Oh, but for Sravaka, they say no. They say the final spark sure is the reality which is unbreakable. Huh? Okay, next, let's take a look. Huh? So we finished all this already. Huh? So now we go to the next paragraph again. Who's turn to read Ordo Maha? Huh? Although the contemplating, although the contemplating the dharmas or things chapter in the Mulya Dhyamaka Katarika teaches the extensive contemplation, all things are empty <clears throat> and are neither produced nor destroyed. Nevertheless, right contemplation from extensive to co the concise still begins with the realization of non-existence of self and mind. On this critical point concerning birth and death, the world transcending way of liberation is definitely without any discrepancy. This may be explained either explicitly or, Im <laughs> explicitly or impl implicitly. Hey, hey, explicitly. Hey, what? Implicitly. Lah, huh? <laughs> explicitly or implicitly, extensively or concisely, however, according to the people's different capacities. In this way, all those who thoroughly understand the self is empty will definitely be able to understand all things are empty. They may not contemplate that things are empty in depth or teach things are empty but they were positively not attached to the existence of inherent nature. If one clings to things being real, one not only does not understand that things are empty, one also does not understand that self is empty. One does not eliminate, does not only eliminate one's attachment to things, one also does not el eliminate one's attachment to self. Thus, it is said, clinging to the form of things are the same as being attached to the self. Others, sentient beings and life, clinging to the form of which it's not a thing, it is the same as being attached to the self. Others, sentient beings and life. Nagarjuna treatise also said, if one realizes that the, that the aggregates are not real, the view that which is a self, will not arise. Having eliminated the view that there is a self, none of the aggregates will rise. As long as the attachment to aggregates is present, the view that is a self will continue to exist. Who says that Sravaka sages knows the self is empty, yet believe that all things really exist? Without understanding, the things are empty, and without leaving behind attachment to things, how could one depart from attachment to self? Thus, thank you so much. Oh, enough, enough. Too many. <coughs> Just a little bit more, no, Sifu. Oh, a little bit more. Okay, okay, okay. Let's finish it. Okay. Thus, it can be inferred that the Buddha's teachings is originally of one favor. Those who are superficial to see the superficial, and those who are profound see the profound. The superficial and the profound have always been consistent, but they have been 
interpreted and practiced differently in the hands of people who are who are extremely biased. Okay, thank you. Mm. Okay, uh, for this a uh, few paragraph, uh, what Sally read, uh, okay, class, uh, basically, uh, uh, now, I mean, uh, for the author, uh, try to argue that for the Strawaka, uh, if let's say they, uh, they understand the, the uh, I mean, the precept of the non cell, quite sure they understand that, I mean, uh, they, uh, they don't have the perception of the inherent, inherent entity, inherent nature. They say quite sure, uh, because of course, what you see, for those uh, who are able uh, to realize that non-self, meaning to say they will more, uh, there is no more attachment anymore, and of course uh, they will stop reincarnation. Of course, what well, indirectly uh, they surely will understand. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, this is there's an implication that they will understand that the thing also impermanence, even though what uh, they go to they go they, they don't go to contemplate the finest particle, but of course they know that this is the impermanence also. Uh, this is Anicca also. Uh, so this is a few paragraphs I uh, try to argue that even though they don't go for contemplation, uh, uh, but they, uh, we believe that they will understand this. So that's all me. Okay, uh, uh, the author tried to argue that the straw goddess, even though uh, uh, some texts mention that they are only, I mean, they, they understand non-self, but they don't understand that, uh, but, but, but uh, they, maybe they still have some inherent uh, nature. Uh, but uh, now the author and also he could uh, from the Nagarjuna that Sraoka as Arahan for quite sure uh, both of them I mean they, they realize the non-self uh, both uh, in self and the, and, and also the thing uh, uh, the entity uh, uh. the thing here means what uh, you analyze the thing to the finest particle that is we call thing uh, uh. so always remember this. Uh.
Okay, uh, so class, uh, this is uh, this is the class for today, lah, huh? uh, So after we finish this class, let's take a look, huh? We'll go to the skillful means to attain direct realization, huh? So after we go through this, uh, I think we will begin uh, with other school, huh? So now we go to my Mecca, huh? So class, I will send you uh, the picture some more, the two more pictures I send you all. Please make sure you make the location clear, and the time are clear for the different school. Of thought, oh, once you the things clear, you won't be confused. So, oh. uh, since you are all in the Mahayana tradition, you are obliged to learn all this. Uh, if you are Theravada, yeah, it's not necessary to learn what, but you are Mahayana or oh, the disciple, so you are obliged to learn. Oh, and then uh, you won't be confused. Oh, uh, once we go through all these uh, Mahayana texts, uh, okay. Oh. So, class clear, mm, okay. The uh, remember, uh, 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 try to recall. Oh, I mean, uh, um, sometimes what happened, uh, what, what mentioned in the text is different with the practical. It's quite different. You see a uh, class, uh, do you notice that if you compare uh, what you learned in Lena uh, and sell it, Jing to Farman, just Army Tofu, and then go to Western Pure Land, uh, Yao Si Fo, and then go to the Yao Si Fo Pure Land. It is so simple if you compare with all this. This is quite profound, am I right? Or oh, you go to talk about, uh, you go to analyze the all the particle, uh, the fine aggregate, it go to the finest part with the strong jhana and the vipassana. You see, you don't see all this uh, in, in, the, in the Western Pure Land or this thing, you see. Or oh, even though you go to read uh, the Diamond Sutra or, or the Hush Sutra, you don't know what is it about. Uh, actually, here what, what we are mentioning, uh, uh, we, uh, we are, uh, uh, we are uh, all related to this type of thing. Okay, huh? so please appreciate it. Okay, huh? so that's all. I see you.